Hello guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Databricks Tutorials. In this video, I am going to tell you guys about what are all the different operations that we do in Databricks with the version control system like push, pull, merge and rebase. So now without wasting any time, let's dive into the topic. So right now I am in the main branch. So the first thing is, uh, what I am doing is, I am going, it's okay. The first thing is I have uncommitted changes in my branch, in my main branch. So the first thing what I am doing is, I am doing a push like right now these main branches are in my local but these are not present in the remote repository so in order to get these changes in the remote repository what we need to do is we need to commit these changes so we have a flexibility of uh, committing the changes as well suppose if you don't want to commit the second notebook you can just uncheck this and write some commit message saying like committing notebooks and then you can click commit and push so that it will i mean commit but next time when you again see the changes you can see like uh, you have the second notebook here what i'm doing is i'm just committing the two notebooks here one and three commit and push it will take some time so if you see here that those two changes got committed to main but it is saying like there is one more uncommitted changes from this second notebook like uh, the second notebook is still uncommitted it is still in your local so what i am doing is right now i am not okay in order to create or in order to switch from the main branch let i am trying to create a branch here so the branch name is what should i say like demo one or something like that i am just creating it like a random create so it will create a branch demo based on the branch main so if you see here you are in the branch demo right now if you cancel this if i say reload this if you see here whatever the changes are present in the demo okay i am also committing these changes now So now what I'm doing is I'm basically doing some change in the demo here. I'm creating a new notebook here in the uh, in demo and just printing hello world. So if I run this, we have this notebook saved. And what I'm doing is I'm clicking in the demo. Now we have this uncommitted changes. I'm committing this with this print hello world. I mean, committing is nothing but a push. Now if I move that to main, if I open, Oh, wait. So if you see here in the YouTube demos, we have only three here. We don't have the second field. I mean, second notebook as well as the, the other one, because it is not present in the, I mean, repository so in order to do that what you need to do is we have only one and three now i need to do a pull so what the pull will do is it will only um, whatever the changes that we have in the remote main it will pull the data from the remote main to local main but anyway we don't have the changes in the local ma remote main as well so anyway we will be having the same data but now what i'm doing again here i'm clicking on main and now we have three dots here right next to the history so here we have a concept known as rebase so what it will do is whatever the changes that are present in the demo one if you want those changes to be merged in the main you can click rebase so what rebase will do is it will give some description so i am clicking rebase on demo one so this branch will update main branch 
by applying branch demo once commits on top of it. So whatever the changes that we have in main, it will be the same, but on top of it, we will be having demo one changes as well. So that is like whatever the changes that are present in demo one, it will be added on top of the main branch changes. If I click begin rebase, it will be added all those changes. And the similar type of operation will be the will be done by the merge as well. Now, if you go and uh, look into the main branch, you can see all those two changes. You have all this. I mean, the second notebook here and the third notebook. I mean, the last notebook as well, the untitled notebook as well. So this is how you will do the commit or push, and similarly push to a remote repository and pull from that same remote repository remote branch to the local branch and rebase from one branch changes to the another branch and again we have one more option known as merge merge will also do the similar kind of thing suppose if you have some changes present in one branch like the demo one and if you want to merge those changes to the main branch you can do that like this branch will merge demo one into branch main this will be done almost like a same operations that what the rebase will have done but the only i mean i think both are same but the only difference is there in the rebase, it will add those changes on top of the existing branch, but this will merge the demo one branch uh, changes into main branch changes. So that is what uh, uh, like all the operations is all about. So we have seen about rebase, merge, pull and push or commit, uh, commit changes in the branch. That's all for this video guys. Thank you for watching.